I'm just outside the town of Seville in the Yarra Valley, east of Melbourne. With the beautiful Warramate Hills as the backdrop, 20,000 cherry trees are grown here. There's 38 different varieties that ripen at slightly different times, so picking lasts from early November through to late December. Peter Foster has been a fruit grower all his working life and manages this 50 hectare property. Right, Peter. Wow. Yeah, they're looking oh, promising, goodness. aren't they? Now. Oh, so. that's just lovely. Now, yeah. as a commercial crop, they've got a bit of notoriety of being quite hard to grow. Yeah, but for the home gardener, they're relatively easy to grow. Yeah. Because you can spend the time on them. So, what sort of problems do you have as a commercial grower? Rain. They can split from the rain sitting on the cherry, or yeah. they can split from the uptake. For a home gardener, when you eat the cherry, you can't taste the crack. Yeah. So. yeah. Cherry growers go to a lot of trouble to keep their cherries dry to prevent water damage. Using a helicopter as a blow dryer works on a small amount of moisture, but big rain means big losses. We had fair rain issues last year mm. that we had to give about 30 to 40 tonne to the Angus cows. So, Get on. Did yeah. they, so they absolutely love, love They them? love the protein. <laughs> The first day they're a bit slow to testing yeah. them and then after that they're just they're running after the tractor. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna give me our, a headache. Our crow scarer. The cherries here are picked by hand. It's not a bad job. I like the job of picking cherries because we are outside and we are picking some fruits. We can take our time and chat with our friends. Yeah, it's pretty nice as well because it's not very heavy. So we just have like, yeah, to find the way to do it. The cherries are no sooner picked than they're packed. Take a look at this, Jane, automatic cherry sorting machine. The cherries are washed once, then they'll go into a cold fire washed again. Then it's up the elevator through the stem cutter. And one person will pull out the worst cherries. There's three cameras that will take 10 photos of each cherry for colour, size and defect. Then they get sorted out and they'll go into each line where they've been allocated from the computer. Then they get packed. You might think cherries are a thirsty crop. Well, not really. Once a week's plenty, yeah. especially in the backyard. You want it to stress a little bit to get the cherries on it. So treat them mean. Yeah, treat them a bit mean. And to get the cherries on them, they think, oh, we'll put lots of water in them. Yeah. And they'll get bigger and bigger and bigger. It doesn't work that way. So the trees will keep getting bigger, but yeah, the fruit doesn't ever come. No. So if the tree's too healthy, it wants to put into leaves and shoots. OK. What about soil? Generally, it doesn't matter what soil type you've got. So for the home gardener, the big thing is the chill factor, isn't it? Yeah. We need 700 hours, 8 degrees lower. If you've got the right conditions, what type of cherry tree should you buy? Oh, well, a Stella and, and this one, Lappin. Yep. Which is uh, self-pollinating. It's readily available. It, uh, it's easier to grow. And you don't trellis at all? No, nah, it's too much labour. Mm. So, mm. And, and same for the home gardener. They don't want to go down and buy wire and yeah. posts and yeah. all that. So, And, and I mean, freestanding, free it's just sand. a lovely looking yeah. tree. Yeah. Look better in your backyard. OK, you bought your cherry tree. What's next? Plant them in July. Mm. So, and plant them straight away when you get them so they don't dry out. Yeah. Pretend this was the cherry you bought. Yeah. It won't have any leaves on it. Yeah, dormant. Yeah. yeah. So dormant. As soon as you've planted it, cut it back to 50 mil. Take the three branches mm. off. Gee. Yeah. Adventurous. Oh, otherwise, this tree will be Up 20, to the 20 foot tall. Yeah. 
So what's next? All right, so a few months later in December, yep. this is the tree we'll have. Yeah. And all these branches would look yep. like this. All shot. All yeah. shot again. Yep. So we need to cut them back to 50 mil. Whoa! That's a pretty dramatic cut. Yeah, so that will shoot, say, 12 limbs. Mm -hmm. And there'll be one or two vigorous ones. We've got to take them out. And then you'll get a nice, calm tree. Yeah. That's up to two metres and you can prune at two metres and it'll keep all the fruit down lower than two metres high. Because people often say, my cherry tree's not fruiting. And is that because they've it's, let it grow too big? Yeah, it's too vigorous, it's too healthy. It's yeah. It's growing, it's just wants to grow. Yeah, no, no, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Feeding cherry trees is pretty simple. In spring, we'll put a pelletised chicken manure on and then another one in autumn so they can store it over winter. We'll throw all the straw up underneath and then we'll put a blood and bone down with them and you know, all the grass clippings, all the prunings we put up underneath the tree as well. So the, then the, all, all the organic material and all that breaks down. And, like and, a homegrown compost. Yeah, yeah like a homegrown compost. Yeah. I reckon cherry season is one of the best times of the year. And even if you're surrounded by cherries, they don't stop being irresistible. No, I never stop eating them. Well, thank you very much for the day's <laughs> no effort, worries. Mr thank Cherry you. Man. <laughs> very good. <laughs>